I am fantastic. How are you? I'm terrific. When it's Monday, it's always a great day. And so many things are happening in our world. And it is fun, fun, fun to be a part of it. I really was thinking about this the other day. Somebody was asking me about, how did you know how to do all this Zoom stuff? And I'm like, oh, that is a question that is loaded. But it really is a cool thing. Think about it. Now, I've been Zooming since the before the pandemic, just because not all my clients are local. But think of all the cool stuff we know how to do now that maybe we didn't know how to do then. Plus, Zoom has stepped up to the plate in a very big way and changed a lot of its formatting. But isn't that an awesome thing that literally, you want to have coffee? Absolutely. Push a button and there you are. It really is cool. We could do push a button training. Yeah. <laughs> yes, what, we what, could. Do what I need to do? Push a button. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly correct. I love that so much. And it really is true because you, you, you know, you don't like the look of something, push a button, change the background. And it really is a very cool thing. But I love the fact that we can communicate anywhere, yes. anywhere across the globe and we can actually be with our friends. So this well, has been a great day already. And like what we've talked about over and over, we have so many friends now that are all over the country, all over the world. I mean, there's some, it, it feels like we've been friends for years. You know, we don't even know if they're tall, short, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> I had somebody actually the other day say to me, they're like, you're only five foot one. I'm like, yeah, I look bigger on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> you're five so, foot 10. God, you look smaller on the screen. Yeah, it's funny. So, so yeah. So, hey, we have to go through our traditional what day it is. A Monday. It's, yeah, I almost said your name, which is it. I'm just like, it's <laughs> Queenie's favorite day, Monday. Yeah, <laughs> and it's happy president's day i do believe everybody's got a day off if you're in okay. school districts and probably the post office and government i'm thinking at least that's the way it used to be i'm not paying attention much but i know uh, that uh the post office is closed because that affected me directly uh, as far as banks and things like that all my stuff is automatic so i don't know yeah i don't know either the mine is too so i'm assuming but uh, let's see, there is, uh, there's two other things. I was, I actually was looking at the list last night and I was kind of, I was kind of disappointed in some respects because um, yesterday was National Cherry Pie Day, which is one of my favorite pies. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what the other ones were, um, but I was really, cherry pie, I love cherry pie. But today- was it Mint Day or something yesterday or was that Saturday? I think that was Saturday. Okay. Yeah, yesterday was Leadership Day. Uh, I mean, oh, muffins. That was another one. I love muffins. I love cherry pie. Um, I'm growing into leadership. Yeah. So, <laughs> but today. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's national sticky bun day. Now they, uh, the pictures, this is what comes up to me. This is cinnamon rolls. Yeah, me too. I, they are sticky. I would say your yours are uh, stickier than mine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, when you sent me this one, this is what I think of as a sticky bun because uh, what is that word? Um, it's not bear claw, but it's one of those kind of pastries that sometimes when you go to really amazing restaurants, they have this caramel drizzly stuff over it that hooks pecans onto it or something. And um, not my gift, of course, but it's this is what I would think of as a sticky. This is like grandma esque. Yes. Um, yeah, this, this feels like a grandma, um, uh, pastry. Yes, definitely. And I, and I looked at this and I had to put this up. My mother used to, and the, here's a funny little story. She used to, um, do sourdough bread, but we, there's four of us didn't like it. We wanted the white bread from the store and she would make cinnamon rolls, sourdough cinnamon rolls. You know, I mean, uh -huh. you're talking about the best, but we, we wanted the white bread from the store and we wanted the rolls. I mean, what was wrong with us? <laughs> Can you even imagine you get homemade anything and you'd rather have yeah. the uh, from the store. Yeah. yeah. That's the trip. My poor mother. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, do you like it? Do you like cinnamon rolls, Queenie? Uh, I, I can do them. Yes, I can't. It's not my daily driver because the sweet stuff is just not a good fit for me, but I could do a cinnamon roll for sure. I would have to have a drizzle of frosting. Would you? Okay. Cause I'm, I, I don't, you know, it's funny. I love sweets and I love rich sweet stuff. I cannot take the drizzle of frosting on this. I, it's yeah. just too much. Yeah. I have seen the ones that are just globbed on there. That's, that's just got so much stuff. You just feel like your teeth are going to explode. 
that's not a good fit for me, but uh, just a drizzle of that white stuff on top of that would work for me. White stuff. Yeah. Cream cheese frosting, maybe. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> I can make a lot of those homemade also. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I couldn't even get that out. <laughs> uh, I'm sure my kids are going, Gigi, who? Yeah, right. I'll, I'll support you doing. in your, your endeavor there. Thank queen. you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love that right off the bat. But that so is today, very cool. So today is also grain free day. Whoa, now that's right up your alley. So I tried to pick um actually this is something I will be growing this year. This is amaranth. I can't remember the variety, but I picked the purple or pinky purple stuff, put the little uh, you know, a burn in there or whatever that is. But that is amaranth and that is grain free because actually amaranth is a seed. It's not a grain. And I think I was telling you about it. It's like, uh, well, I'm trying to remember what I said. It was kind of a, we always, it's, it's useless facts. <laughs> like, yeah. what are you going to do with it? <laughs> well, actually, I don't think I've it ever heard flower. of it. I think that was a useless fact. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever heard of amaranth. So I wouldn't have known this one, that it's, picture at all. It's pretty. Is, it's beautiful. Yeah. It gets about six to eight feet high, depending on which variety. Um, yeah. It gets, you know, I would not have thought it was that big. My goodness. And you have to you have to pick it or take the tops off um, before it goes to seed, or you're going to have amaranth coming out of your ears because there's thousands of seeds to the heads on those things. But yeah, I, I grew amaranth a couple of years ago and um, you hang it upside down to dry it. And I did that in my garage. And one day I was looking at it and I'm like, I don't recall half of that being gone. And we had mice that got into the um, garage and ate Ate my amaranth. So well, look I what you did. You created a bounty feast buffet yeah. yes. <laughs> for those mice. If you give them something like that, dried and ready to go. <laughs> so, oh. so I'm going to think about it this year after I um, am finished with, you know, when I dry it. Uh, I think we're going to be hanging it a little bit higher. <laughs> <laughs> so, which I'm sure everybody a lot. My husband's always like, "What are you drying now?" Because there's yeah. always stuff hanging. In <laughs> it'd be fun to go in your house and all of a sudden things are hanging and growing and moving yep. and grow lights and all the stuff you've got going on your very own little greenhouse in your whole in your whole world so, so that really yeah, is so, pretty though I would never have known what that was no it, it is beautiful you know when you look at that and then you look at this and you go okay. ah, that was a <laughs> culture shock I was not prepared for <laughs> <laughs> but I, I want to say it's 28 days. I'm probably off on my, I didn't look today. It's, it's, uh, we're, we're getting there. We're within a month of the date of spring. So March no. 20th, correct. I do believe that is what it is. So what are we at the 22nd today? Or are we 21st? So yeah, today's the 21st and that's usually my March 21st is my day, but if they say it's the 22nd, then whatever, but I, anything, as soon as March 1st gets here, I'm always a little bit like, oh my gosh, we survived. And we have not had a rough winter at all. The um, snows that we've had, you know, whatever, but it has not been uh, as it has been in the past. So this has been very mild in my opinion. Oh no, you know, 50, 60 degrees in between a snowstorm. You know, it's the typical wait five minutes, it changes, which it had, I mean, you know, we're all, we got 10 inches of snow. When was that Wednesday? It's almost all gone. Yeah, I still have some on my patio, but um, almost everything in the front is gone. That's just wonderful. So. Yeah. We're just getting ready for the next one. <laughs> um, uh, Thursday, actually, in Kansas City, is not supposed to be so bad for snow, is it? Isn't it just? I only heard a couple of inches. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that's that's dusting for me after that last one. That was a big in. Great, great for the grass. Great for the lawn. Great for the garden. So, yeah. So you know, in another month here, it'll be in the fifties and sixties, or maybe it'll be higher because we've been in the fifties and sixties all winter. But who knows? I haven't really looked at Farmers Almanac is really good with uh, their predictions and how they look at patterns and all that. So I haven't looked to see what they have to say. But but we're getting ready. Yes, we are. I love that. And isn't it interesting for your business, especially? It is not just a wake up March 1st and start planting stuff and harvest it in August and do all your thing. Yours is a year round business. And I would never have thought of that. And I happen to know that you have been appointed, elected, selected as a dynamic coach and leader in your profession. Tell us about that. Doc. I, even, I even threw up a background. Can you believe it? So I can talk about it. Um, wow. Yeah, actually, I just made the final cut for being a gardener. Uh, virtual coach. Um, Gardenery is where I got my certification to be a garden consultant. 
um, and we do daily um, videos, teaching videos. And um, I, I, the story behind my videos, I, th I don't know if I talked about it last week, but I spent an entire week working on a 15 minute video to, of course, have it just, I think we were talking about it, just have it just right or perfect, or maybe I was talking about it somewhere, one of the networking groups. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't know if you know this about me, Queenie, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to certain things. There's a sucker, Doc. <laughs> but I had to have it just right. And then I had the music had to be just right. And then the, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, but all that hard work paid off. And I was thankful too, because I got it done right before um, we got all the snow because I'm like, I probably would have still been out there in the snow doing my, because I wanted a background um, of outside. And I believe me, it was cold out and I had to wear the same clothes to make it look like I was just walking around because I've got all these different garden beds and I was talking about different things. So, but yeah, I'm, I was, it's, it's an honor um, to be a part of the group. And to be oh, well, think about this. Just like you said before, you've been doing this for me as many and in many years. And it's so amazing. I mean, seriously, you've been gardening most of your life and who better, in, in my opinion, they should have asked me to vote for you. Um, but it really is who better to be able to teach this. You know, every single thing from soil stuff to seed this to when to plant, how deep, et cetera. Certain people who shall remain nameless thought that that little point thing on a tulip meant shove it down and cram it. And all of a sudden you went. And so needless to say, my tulips grew upside down, which means they didn't come up. And I just went, what's wrong with all these dumb things? And you go, the top kind of has to be the point this way up instead. Cause I thought it was a lovely thing, cram it down. So now you can just kind of bash it down in there. It's just not my gift as you have known, but you are so patient and you're the perfect, you are the perfect person uh, to be one of the gardenary coaches. And I am seriously thrilled for you because this yeah. takes your skill level and your knowledge and, and gigantics it times a million. I love that. I, I, I'm, I'm super thrilled to be a part of it because the gal, her name's Nicole that um, started this um, is just a dynamic. She, she's just dynamic. She's a really neat lady and it's going to be, I'm looking forward to, you know, we always talk about pushing buttons or, and that's how we learn. I'm just looking forward to however, you know, we're going to structure it and learning. I mean, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. So you're going to be teaching in the whole country. Yeah, it's it's a it's a course that people can get online with, and so this is and her her business has been exploding. Um, oh, I bet everybody wants to grow their own food because of all the stuff yep. that's going on. Um, that's oh, yeah. another reason my water business has gone nuts because people go, uh, "How do we really know what's in that bottle?" And I, I have a whole list of things you don't want to know about. So. But that's, it's so amazing that people are going back to natural. That's always funny to me. Yep. Um, we, we've had enough of the crud that comes out of the stores. And so now we want to grow our own and not drink oh, bottled water anymore. It really, it's kind of a, it's, it's, it really is a partnership. Totally. And so I'm going to flip it, Queenie, because as we say in our household, congratulatory offerings are in <laughs> store. <laughs> oh for you because you were chosen to be on a very important board of an organization that is exploding. Happy Neighborhood Project, you were on the board. You were elected on Thursday? Uh, the the announcement happened on Friday, actually, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, the happy, the, <laughs> the happy Co-op began in July 6th of 2021, which is a revenue share opportunity for people who join monetarily. Now, everyone on the planet, and I've invited many of our faithful friends on purpose in the Doc and Queenie community to join for free because it helps our numbers, numbers, numbers. And that's fantastic. It costs you zero and about 90 seconds of time. So that part has been terrific. We already have almost 2000 co-op members just since July of 2021. And so I started watching this co-op and paying attention and participating and spreading the word because when something is offered for free that can impact the world, that's when I went, I got to check this out. So I paid attention, watched, I go to all the trainings and the orientations to see all the nuances within the happy co-op. And at this current second with almost 2000 members, we're in the top 10% already of co-ops in the world. Our top four leaders, and I checked this a second ago because I was in a different meeting, our top four leaders of co-op 
referrals as far as you have brought the most people into the co-op, India, Australia, Canada, and the USA. Our top four leaders are literally from four different countries. And that to me is the coolest thing ever. And speaking of our meeting on Friday, I have a ginormous announcement that I'm so excited about. Debbie Miller with Legal Shield is one of our dynamic faithful friends on purpose. She also attends the Bible study. And I don't know that she's ever missed in the city local. That's no kidding. I don't think she's ever missed a question on Bible study. And usually when we say, what does that word mean? She types it in. Could you type in how you pronounce this? Yeah. Yeah. could (laughs) Could you please help us with this Bible trivia? I don't know. And she is the number three person in revenue share for awesome. fourth quarter of 2021. That is now, awesome. if you guys are not part of a co-op yet or don't even know what the revenue share topic is, I have learned so much just in seven months, but Debbie Miller is number three out of 2000 people um, in the revenue share for fourth quarter 2021. That is so huge. In Phenomenal. The- yeah. And she has participated beautifully. She was actually on Kathy chat last week. Yes, just I saying, saw that. Just saying. And it's been so cool to see when Faithful Friends on Purpose just keep growing and learning and now training, of course, and, and for her to be global everywhere. And you can't get on LinkedIn or Facebook without going, oh my gosh, there's Debbie Miller again. It is the coolest thing to see someone flourish as beautifully as she has uh, this last year, especially with the Happy Neighborhood Project. I'm thrilled to be part of the board of directors. I am thrilled to be able to help people with co-op. Being able to offer stuff for free rocks my world. Um, And it really does because when you uh, help out with chambers of commerce and would you like to join the chamber? There's always a monetary fee. And that's not always a good fit for me to say uh, it only costs 800 bucks a year. Um, Maybe that would not be a good fit for you at this time. Would you like to think about maybe we could split it in half, half now, half in six months. And I have done that before with chamber memberships, but um, for this to be totally free to network and totally free for co-op, it is the, it's wonderful to be part of an organization like this. I was oh, honored beyond. I was just floored. It's, it's a, it's a wonderful organization. I mean, you know, it's, it's networking um, practice. It's network. I mean, it's just phenomenal. There's some great people there that I've met all across the world. I, it's just, it's great. It's yeah. Um, it's very fun for me when I put pictures up during my two minute infomercial in the breakout room. I usually put a picture up of my water machine. I have had people from other countries say, oh, I've got one of those. And I'm just, that is the coolest thing ever to be able to know when our company is in 23 countries and you kind of go, okay, 23 countries, I'm never going to meet someone in wherever that has a machine. And I have. And that is just like, that just sets me on fire. I love, love, love that my country, my company is global and my, my uh, happy neighborhood project is global and it's free, free, free. And it's, it's so fun. It really is. I know you've got uh, one-on-one scheduled all the time because every, <laughs> every time you go to happy neighborhood project, everybody wants to know what is a gardenary expert and you are so good and patient at letting them know. And I think your pictures help a lot. Thank you. I, yeah. you know, yeah, I, I love, I love networking. I love the connection and I, and I do reach out all the time and always try to do one-on-one and, and, you know, part of networking, what, like we've taught is I always, my last question, or I always do the, tell me about yourself. And then one of my last questions or in there somewhere is how can I help you? You know, what kind of, and that's not necessarily meaning what kind of client you're looking for. It means just how can I help you? You know, and it's always interesting. I had a one-on-one this morning and um, the gal just was talking about different things. And um, she's just like, you know, if you know of anybody, she's a fantastic financial educator. Uh, If you can think of anybody and I'm like, I will spread the word. Yeah, yeah, so. And I definitely know who you're talking about and she is fantastic. And I definitely would refer her because I have been in different groups with her and no question is a dumb question. This lady takes anything financial. Oh my gosh. And she explains why and how and something to get your this structured and your that structured. She is 
I recommend her also. She's she's phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, I yeah, I could tell that as soon as uh, yeah, we started talking. It was just very and, and I was telling her about myself and I've never had this happen before. She's writing down stuff and then she's like, well, I have a resource for this. And I mean, she just started and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, it was, she's not I didn't paying. even ask. No, she <laughs> takes networking to the next level of awesome. And she's in several of my groups and things that I do. And she, I, I love her immensely and she's so good at what she does. And she makes sure that everybody feels included. If you're in a breakout room, let's start with you. I mean, she's, she's just spectacular. And so I'm glad you guys got to meet that. Would, that must've been a, I wish I would had been a little mouse on that wall. Okay. <laughs> Not the one that eats you, whatever that stuff is called. Not but the, the one that's going to eat my amaranth yeah. 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 yeah, that that skin. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm telling you what, look what has happened. Okay. Debbie, holy moly, you with your gardenary business, H&P is exploding because again, people can go everywhere for free and all of it. Think about this from a standpoint of the Doc and Queenie part and were we necessarily speaking, speaking, speaking about Enagic Congan water, about naturopathy, about gardening on this call every week? Not necessarily. And then boom, all of these things grow and explode. It's so awesome to see the more you're out there, the more visible you are, the more the blessings just start pouring down. And it's, it's very cool to see. Well, and, not, and, you know, we, we believe I, and I'm including you, but we've talked about it with, um, there's nothing by chance, you oh know, my gosh. people are in your path for a reason, whatever that is. Um, and if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. I mean, I've been waiting a long time to get to this point with the gardening piece. Um, and it actually kind of caught me by surprise in some respects. Um, yeah. It, which, you know, like, like you with being on the board and, and all of the work you've done and help and training with h &P, you know, e either of us can say, well, it doesn't surprise me, but, but it's still kind of a surprise, even though oh, you're kind of was, in that direction, you know, absolutely. It was just, I, I was, I, I was speechless, which never happens. <laughs> and you know what I love? I get off this call and go to other calls and I haven't changed my background yet. I have had I get on a group and there's 43 people or however many there are. And what I just get on and I, all of a sudden I'm not paying attention because I want to see who's there and, and what we're going to talk about and all the people that have joined us. And all of a sudden somebody will either put in the chat or actually say out loud before we get started. Um, hey, um, what is Doc and Queenie? And I always go, oh my gosh. And I, I forgot to change the background. So it really is a blast to see so many people from our other communities be part of Doc and Queenie now. I, I really love that. And of course, got to plug the, this is a way you can get involved with Doc and Queenie. We've had some fantastic guests on Doc and Queenie, guest live. I don't understand why Kim is not just allowing us to do a 24 hour, seven days a week interview with her. I just don't know why she won't do that. We have enough time yet. Okay. <laughs> I just don't understand. I'd like to do a 24 seven repeat, repeat constant flow of Kim. She is so incredible. She loves the Lord, which is so cool. Her past, her world has not been perfect, perfect all the time, but she is another example of, I'm not that perfect Christian. I'm the one that knows I need Jesus. She is awesome. And I just, I can't get enough of her. I have watched my own YouTubes before. <laughs> of her. And I just like, she's, she's very cool. She is. She's a, and she tells these stories that are just phenomenal. There's always a point to them and it's always relevant. At least for me, I always, am like, yeah, okay. I'll take that. And you know, but yes, yeah, that, that's the brick that comes down, hits me in the head. Catherine, yeah. are you listening? Kim's that's talking to you. <laughs> yeah. She's just great. Guest live is for anyone who would like to share 15 or 20 minutes of whatever's on your heart, whether it's about your company, your events that you've got coming up, whatever that looks like. And Kim has actually said, I'll do that. And when Doc invited her, I'm just telling you, Doc, that was the coolest ever because I had not met her in that capacity before, only socially. And that's when I thought, wow. And, and I, I was uh, beautifully, pleasantly, uh, I can't say surprised, but definitely impressed. The Lord is definitely speaking through that lady. Yes, definitely. 
um, she was so excited to have the platform to share with people. So, and it, you know, for me, I was, so, well, we both were excited to have her. Oh, wow. Absolutely. Do we have any uh, scheduled yet? There might be one coming up on Friday. Woohoo! I hope so. Her, but I, cause she said she has a lot more to share with people. So she we'll won't do 24 seven, but she will do 15 or 20 minutes on Friday. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad because if it's 24 seven, Queenie, how are we going to sleep? Yeah, uh, that's a thought. Okay. I don't know. It's just a thought. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's great. And so is everybody else that we've had on DQ guest live before. So please consider if you haven't yet, we'd love to have you because it is just a cool way for the people in our community to get the word out in a bigger scale. And it's so yes. fun. This platform has been such a blast. Totally. Totally. What is so, on your schedule for the rest of the day? I can't even, probably you're going to be out planting something, aren't you? Uh, you know, no, um, I've got a bunch of work to do. Um, you know, I'm crunching the numbers because uh, of all of the supplies. I've got oh. actually getting ready for a new contractor um, that I have to work with, that I would like to work with. Yeah. I'm crunching numbers right now. So um, maybe I'll, cr I, you know, everything is wet because it's been melting. Otherwise I'd be oh, outside. Good point. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> So a um, little bird told me that you've expanded from your backyard to another location. What yes. are you doing there, sister? Well, we are working on the um, garden design actually. Um, and the next week I have to have it finished by next, I think Wednesday um, and planned out because we, we do, you know, um, I was going to say, I guess it's cyclical. Um, I'm actually starting and I've got some videos that I also have to edit on starting seeds because we are in the cool weather, um, crop season of starting seeds. So we're going to get those out and that's things like cabbage and broccoli and, um, onions and other things, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, is cauliflower cool weather? Cauliflower. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, a lot of times I do cauliflower in the fall. Um, okay. Yeah, I and that's just my preference. You can do it in the spring, but I did cauliflower and um, Brussels sprouts in the fall are the for me the best. Uh, but we'll see. But yeah, we're we're planning out a one acre location. Um, we had somebody oh, give God. us that. Oh, my head just exploded. You know, I asked for no somebody to plow the ground because I don't I don't have a plow. If my husband won't let me, no, I just. <laughs> <laughs> honey where are we going to put this plow oh, I can just say that your Christmas <laughs> list must be the most hysterical oh. thing in the world <laughs> yeah I'm yeah, sitting I, here and I want diamonds and gold necklaces and all my little stuff and I'm sure yours is wants a, and saws and <laughs> equipment, you know oh my gosh tractor well no I'm we're, we're not in a location yet we're we're looking at uh, some land and I I said to the husband the other day I think we're going to need a tractor. <laughs> well, I think I can say completely that I've never had tractor on my Christmas list before. You are hysterical. <laughs> oh God. So, but yeah, we have, we have the opportunity for one acre and um, our intention is to share it with the community for people that need it. So, oh, wow. um, and then, and then there's people that are going to help. It's kind of like you have to help in order to you know, reap oh, the okay. So this is really going to be a community garden with you at the helm. Uh, uh, it, 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 yes. I mean, it's kind of like a private community garden because it's not totally open. Uh, yes, no, I, I, I understand that. coming in. Yeah. But yeah, there's, that there's so five of us awesome to do that. Out. And then everyone that participates within your uh, small community, they all get to reap the harvest. They will literally. reap the harvest and we are going to plant intensively so that means we will have lots of extra oh wow or, now or that will that seriously we'll share it you know and i have to jump through a lot of hoops on that my, my desire is to share that with people in need that need food you know and this is fresh produce you can't you can't beat it <laughs> so um yeah and, and, and that's another part of the planning um of reaching that out i've always had that desire but haven't actually had the space and now we have the space. So in addition to what I'm doing in my own home. <laughs> so. Oh, so let's see. We will see you next November. Yeah, I will never I... be home or available. <laughs> yeah. 
I'll be outside, which will be fine with me. Yeah, I was going to say, you are so good (laughs) outside and I know that you thrive on, well, all of us do. I I seriously am trying, how am I going to take this office and all this lighting stuff and get it out on my patio quiet in a sound booth? Yeah. So I'm going to have a sound booth on my patio. I'm sure my subdivision won't have a problem with me building some kind of contraption out there. I'm sure they won't. Yeah. You could just do an extension off the patio. (laughs) That'll work out great. What is that? Catherine sound booth. Oh, good. Don't ask any questions. Forget it. I'll bring over my sauna. You could use that. There you go. See, we could do that for sure. A little cramped. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'll have to do the computer like this, but we can do it. You'll be sitting there. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Isn't it amazing though? Honestly, when you think about Doc and Queenie, uh, two year celebration is August of this year. And that is phenomenal in itself. And then the growth, uh, I remember when we were celebrating your naturopathy degree and that was like explosive hallelujah celebration. And that all of the things that have happened have been phenomenal. And it's been so fun to share all of this with the community. It really has. Well, and, and likewise with your involvement with h and and just hearing about the phenomenal things that the group is doing and the ins and outs of the co-op and just you're networking across the world. Yeah, I'm going to India today. And you're like, <laughs> That's very fun. I said that um, in one of our, I have a Christian Women Entrepreneur Network also out of um, Modesto, California, I believe is where the, the leader is located, Rebecca. And she is so awesome. And that's another thing that she talks about. Her community started in California, like in person. And then all of a sudden, God laid it on her heart. You've got to share CWIN with everyone. And so she made it a public group as far as the community part. And I was just typing in Christian Women Network groups um, just in a Facebook thing. And all of a sudden this pops up. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. It's been awesome. And that's actually how we got to meet Jody. Jeru up in Wisconsin, our fabulous chocolate cheese lady. You see how all of that has just exploded. I'm just like chef. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, seriously. And it's just so incredibly amazing how our community has grown. And it, it's, it's seriously as I love it so much. Yeah, I, you know, we, we can't say enough about networking and um, the people we've met and the groups we're in. Um, and that, and that keeps us going too. Not that we don't have anything to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah thank you. Uh Oh yeah. And then on top of all of this, a magic just changed uh, my company uh, is a magic, the Congan water company. They just changed their website. So now when you go in to purchase something, there's a different procedure. Oh, no. so, oh my gosh. Some of my clients over the weekend are going, um, hello. And I went, what's the problem? And so they've been working on it for a while. And I didn't think they were going to pull the trigger so completely this week. I just and, saw the announcement the other day. And yeah, I'm like, oh, and, and I saw that and I just thought, oh my gosh. So of course, <laughs> several of my actual clients have sold machines to other people. So they are now going, um, can we get on a three-way call real fast? And I'm like, oh, of course. And so it was new to my, uh, to my other reps and that was pretty funny. But everything's always changing and that's it's good. About the training. Absolutely. <laughs> It, everything's always changing. And I, I think that's good. You've been working on websites yourself. I understand. I, I've been designing websites, which has been fun. So if anybody needs a website, let me know. Um, <laughs> like I don't have anything else to do, but hey. Right. I was going to um, say, what, when are well, we doing now? 2024? Yeah, really. But <laughs> you know, like you talk about, you know, the push button training. I say that, f- you know, in a fun way, but it's true. I mean, that's how you've become a great trainer with LinkedIn and YouTube. And then for me with the Instagram piece, I mean, we, we both have had a lot of fun. I was going to say my, my push the button and my, my, my thing is if anybody's watched this for a while, what rocks my world with Instagram is the reels. And I hit a milestone Queenie the other day, I hit a milestone over 5,000 views on one, one post. Oh my gosh. Now that actually is huge. 5,000 views within an hour. That's, that's, just huge. What was your um, number when you first did, didn't you do a piece of lettuce? The first time I started was a piece, was lettuce in the garden. And all I did was focus in and focus out and focus in and focus out. And that was 1200 within a half an hour. Oh my gosh. But you know, I still can't figure out. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm testing it. Cause I'm like, so I get 5,000 views and then I get like three likes and you're like, that's not what, (laughs) you know, but, but people are looking at it. 
and, and it's that learning curve, of course, like everything, pushing buttons and then playing around with hashtags. That's a biggie. Um, sometimes they put hashtags out there that have millions of hash, you know, people have used the hashtag. Sometimes they put just little, you know, within a couple of thousand. It, it's just, it's just a fantastic, you know, like YouTube and LinkedIn, it's fantastic stuff that you can work with. The algorithm so, is a funny thing because is, my record for LinkedIn post now is 1400 views. Wow. In fact, uh, one of them actually might be 1512, but right around there. And 68 comments. Now, just like you said, it's that, is, you know, how do you get 1500 views and only a few people do the emoticon thing, like right. uh, celebrate, and then only a fewer amount than that actually do I'm, the comments? Yeah. I'm thinking it's a lack of understanding as to what we're working with here. And, well, and we've done posting yeah. parties. Yeah. And I, I did a post, uh, was that two weeks ago that we did it or a week ago? I did a post and I had my highest, it's not 1500, but I had over 300 views and I had seven comments, I do believe. It might be a little higher. Um, I haven't checked it. Lately. But isn't, uh, wasn't that, um, I'm trying to think, Feb February 8th was your posting party. Yeah. And so, so that's why I was thinking when you go back in and check the views and then uh, the comments, if you've got seven and then you comment back, that makes 14 yeah. and that ranks you in a bigger way. So now you've got 14 that is going to be seven more, which is 14 more. And that's how I have watched that part grow. It's yep. just incredible. We've got actually several posting parties coming up with some of the girls and some of the people in our other communities. And it's really cool to see that because they go, and I'm, I'm the queen. I think I used to get 10 or 20 views and one or two comments. My friends would say, oh, honey, that's so cute or whatever I was oh, doing. I, and I remember and, your post on Facebook holding up a coffee talking about, was it a pumpkin oh, spice latte? Yes. You got like oh, 900 hits on it. Absolutely. Oh, you were like, like, this is a pumpkin spice latte. All <laughs> I did, I did a <laughs> Facebook live on my page <laughs> holding up pumpkin spice because Missy Day had sent me a um, gift card for some gig I had won with her. And I was so grateful for that. And I went, I've got to thank Missy. And then I thought, you know, thank you, Missy, whatever. Yeah. And then I thought, hang on a second. How can I get a pumpkin spice latte in August in Kansas City? So I thought I would milk it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was, it was unexpected. Let's just go there. But I think the lessons in all of this, and I don't know if people understand, and maybe they do, but for people that don't think about it, like you're saying, somebody makes a comment, you comment back, and you tag with hashtags, and you you tag them, and it just keeps snowballing, really, especially with LinkedIn po posting parties and that kind of stuff. But you, you can see, I did a poll the other day on LinkedIn, and um, I mean, I've gotten 90 or 100 views, you know, and all it was was, what kind of vegetable garden, you know, do you have, or are you getting ready to, you know, get ready? And I did the vegetable herbs. I can't remember what the third one is. And then at the bottom, I had 17% say, well, why I want somebody else to do it for me, which I thought was hilarious. But see, but I love that too. You just all made about interaction. Absolutely. You seriously just made me think of something. I did a poll on the, oh my gosh, you guys. I did a poll on, I think Friday, three days ago, whatever day that was. What is your preferred outside winter attire? Oh, Does that have one. anything to do with Kanjan water? No. And so I gave hat, skirt, gloves, uh, coat, coat, hat, sweater, hoodie. I don't do winter attire. That's all I did just for, you know, it's snowing. I wish I was in Florida. I'm out of here. I got... 613 views on that poll and 26 people voted and five comments. And I'm looking at this going, guys, seriously. And that's literally what I did. It has nothing to do with my company. I just put it out there because I was frozen solid in my house, looking out at the snow going, I got to shovel this awful looking thing. And because I always feel badly about the, the mail people and the delivery people and all those folks that have to plow through my, oh my gosh. And so I wanted to be able to get that um, shoveled off for them. And so that's just what I posted out there. 600 doc. Are you kidding yep. me on a poll about a coat? Yep. Oh, it's, it's just, it's hilarious, but you forgot one part of it. Well, and I wish they had more that you could choose from on the polls. <laughs> yeah. You forgot about the people that wear shorts and sandals in the, uh, the wintertime. <laughs> I've seen that several times and I'm yeah. like, 
Yeah. I'm freezing. I'm, uh, I literally am bundled <laughs> like this in the grocery yeah. store. And there's a guy with flip flops. I have seen yeah. that actually. I, I, am, I, I'm just like, I'm you look at him like, what? Uh-uh. <laughs> How do you do that, dude? I'm frozen to death and you are in flip flops. I and shorts and I'm freezing. I just don't get it. Yeah, it's a funny thing, but I probably should have put flip flops on there. That would have been a good one. I'll make well, that maybe next you, one. Maybe you can do what kind of flip flops do you like? Yeah, yeah. I could. Do, but you see, it has a lot to because do with I, water. The flip flops <laughs> I like are the kind without anything. There, it's just the strap that goes over your feet, not the ones with the thing in the middle that goes between your big toe oh, and second okay. toe. Those drive me nuts. Yeah, yeah. And I know yours are industrial strength because you've got tread and all that stuff on the bottom. So you can do your yes. garden, even in your sandals. Yeah. I actually was at the shoe store the other day with my son and I saw some um, rainbow colored oh. ones and I'm like, Ooh, oh, might have to buy oh, those. Here you are I'm definitely going to be a color girl. I know that already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I, guess what Queenie? What? We are out of time again. Oh my gosh. I just like Kim, I want to do 24 seven doc and Queenie also. I, you know, I got to sleep. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So, but anyways, thank you everyone for joining us on Doc and Queenie Facebook Live. And like we were talking, we would love to have you as our guest to talk about your business or anything else. It just give it, it expands your reach. Um, you know, I, you just never know. Um, or we also do a Doc and Queenie uh bible trivia on thursdays at 7 p.m we'd love to have you there too you don't have to be a scholar we both certainly are not we have a lot of fun and we've learned a lot just in doing that um queenie has this fantastic app that thinks she's just doesn't know anything because you always answer wrong so we can get the right answer <laughs> it's just I have funny to get the verse and all the input and i have to yeah. do the wrong answer so it goes would you like to take the quiz again <laughs> And then there's me with different versions going, I don't see that verse anywhere. What verse are we at? You know, like, well, what day so is it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but anyways, we, we would love to have you. Um, but if not, we will see you back here next Monday at. Bye. <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining us. Thank you, Queenie. And we will catch you later. Have a fantastic week. Awesome. Thank you, Doc. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.